Once I have set my light levels for a scene, I can go ahead and save that into a look. Just like groups, to record a look, we just need to press record. Looks, as they record the entire state of the board, do not need a selection. Before we press record, notice how these channels I changed are in red. Let's go ahead and press record with these first 10 channels at 50%. See that we are in the looks tab, then type in a look number and name so we can identify what look we are in. This will be my dark look. These values, now that they've been recorded, turn white. If I make an adjustment, the adjustments that deviate from the look turn red. I can release these changes to the look by making a selection and pressing at release enter. Let's now take these channels to full and record that into look 2 as my bright look. I can go between my looks instantly by tapping the look in the sidebar. You see, I already have a look 0. This is an easy way to reset the whole board back to its default state. All channels will drop to 0% intensity and go to their default parameter values. To delete or clone a look, simply swipe left on the item to access the menu. If I now wanted to change channels 5 through 10 to be at 80% instead of full for the second look, I can make that change and tap update. Here I am presented with a pop-up asking me what looks I want to revise. I just want to revise the current look, so I will go ahead and tap that. Now let's make another look. Let's put my sky panels in blue. And I'll put my asteras in green. And we'll record this as my party look. If you pull out looks expanded, you can see all of the intensities for all of our channels in a table view per look which you can edit blindly without affecting live output until you exit out of the tab. Simply click in a cell to make an adjustment, or click the header of a column to change the entire column. Here, I will make channel 1 20% throughout all of my looks. Make sure to press enter to save the change. Back in channel view, I can now confirm that channel 1 is at 20 throughout all of my looks. We can do this also through the update button in live. Let's put channel 2 at 35% and say we want this to affect all looks as well. From whatever look you are in, you can update your changed red values and check whatever option you need. Here. I will check a look range and specify that I want looks 1 to 3 to update. Now if I pull out looks expanded again, you can see the change we made carried through all looks. In the left side of each look row, I can adjust the look timing. I can link a look to the previous, create a delay from when I press the play button, it will delay that number of seconds until the look fires adjust the time values, which is any values going up in intensity in the new look. I'm going to follow this time with the up arrow, and any values that are going down from where they are in the previous look to the current look that I'm transitioning to are going to follow the down arrow time. The last column allows me to loop to a specific look I want to execute right after this look completes. Just type the look number in here. Now, when I play this back, you can see my looks follow the timing I set and loop back to the beginning.